Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays where we are playing Timberborn. I'm really excited to get playing today because we have a number of things that we want to take care of. So in the previous episode, we built this second district and today we are going to be using that district for a number of things. So we need to first fix our food support system. You guys mentioned a couple things in the comments that really stuck out to me about the problems that I have with my food system. So we're gonna, we're gonna work on that. We are going to work towards these metal ruins out here. We are gonna establish a forester out here because we have a really sustainable forestry supply. Unlock more science. And the reason we're gonna do that is we wanna unlock windmills so we have a more sustainable power system. We're gonna keep working towards getting the ability to make explosives because that is what we need we need explosives that's going to help us stabilize our food supply but before we get to that i want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor and the channel sponsor apex gaming pcs i've teamed up with apex gaming pcs to design my own custom computer perfect for playing games like city skylines and timberborn check them out by looking at the link in the video description we got a drought for another uh, half a day or so, and we are currently working towards building this. Now, I can't recall exactly how long until we actually finish this, and my guess is we're going to need to look at what we have here at a large warehouse, which is basically nothing besides grilled potatoes, because that's what we're doing. <laughs> I guess we have some planks, too. And wood? We have our wood pile right here, and it's empty. So let's, as a refresher, look back at what we're importing. We got planks, wood water which we could probably stop that at this point we do have uh nick making some water over here for us so yeah we can we can stop that over here got three children i'm thinking we might just migrate those three children we don't have any any unemployed beavers over here so we can't really do anything but if i migrate these children over here more will be born over here and over here we're not gonna get any new children because we're still not done with our campfire. Okay, and finally we have water over here again. And one of the things that was mentioned is that I really should prioritize planting and not harvesting because that actually yields more food. Uh, that makes sense to me. Let's plant everything, we'll harvest it at the end, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with that. <laughs> so I desperately need some lumber over here. This is our main limitation. You see this little beavers coming over here and, and getting things done, but it's just not all that fast. We've got plenty of water over here. And now we have seven beavers and two children over here. One new child. We're good. We've got a lot of stuff that we're still working on. So we've got this and I really want to prioritize this. So we get some baby beavers born because that's clearly an issue right now okay so we're, we're moving in a good direction i did not change the food over here and so we have wheat we have potatoes and we have more potatoes <laughs> and one of the things that was mentioned in the comments of the previous video is you actually really do need those carrots they have a value so i want to explore that a bit so when we look in here we can see first of all the carrots don't need to be cooked and they grow really quickly, which is helpful. But it's more than just that. If we take a look here, for instance, we're looking at Nina Page. Carrots increase the life expectancy by 30. Grilled potatoes, strength by 30. Bread, carrying speed by 30. Grilled chestnuts, strength by, by 10. Cattail crackers, carrying speed by 10. Life expectancy plus 15 with grilled spatter dock. And carrying speed plus 10 with these maple pastries. So you really have to diversify the food supply if you want your beavers to have their best life. So I, I actually took away the one thing that really improves their life expectancy, which is kind of a shame. So we are going to go back on that. Let's get rid of this. We're gonna clear the planting area for some of these. Okay, and now we have carrots. It's a small patch, but I think it's gonna be very helpful. So with that, I, I wanna click on a beaver and uh, let's take a look at one other thing. So berries. So one of the thing, I don't know if this does much beyond provide food, but I, one of the things mentioned is that berries don't uh, disappear when uh, there's a drought. So I could plant some berries. It would be very helpful for us. So what I'm going to do is take out some of these trees I planted over here and replace them with berries. So right here, I'm going to take these out. We'll cut these down. So I've been using Mark resources for demolition, which, uh, I was unaware actually just deletes everything in that area. You don't get any of the resources. So if I chop down this tree, it's gone. So I want to try a couple of things. I'm going to mark these. Hmm. So I'm not sure I, if, I, if I just clear the planting area, 
if that will do the trick. And then hopefully, when these are demolished, rather than just destroying everything, we'll actually get to keep it. So that said, I can't get around this log pile and we are out of storage space. So I'm gonna try something kind of cheesy for the time being. Okay, so there's our, our cheesy path. This will do the trick for us. It's not good, but <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna roll with it because the alternative is also not good. So I'm hoping now we can take this and I really want him to start cutting down some of these trees. So let's make sure. Yeah, he should be able to. Come on, Daniel, we need you to do some work here. And you see that there's a lot happening here, but I don't know that any trees are gonna be cut down. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. These trees are not all that important to me. At this point in time, we've got a really sustainable lumber supply over here. What I care a heck of a lot more about is that we get a gathering flag over here and we plant some berries. Okay, so now we've finally got this all set up. Only one unfortunate thing, we do not have a forester. So this is just a beaver shortage. And that's because we've had lots of beavers die of old age. It's pretty unavoidable. Like we, we just, we had a lot of beavers born at once. And now we had a lot of beavers die at once, but we're doing okay in this district. We just need to keep building some stuff. So let's keep working towards this. We almost have our scrap metal. We're almost there. So I'm going to speed this along. Focus on this, guys. Focus on this. And for power, I really want to start thinking about some better power for us because we're going to need that. Now, as soon as we get up there, we're almost there. We are going to be able to start collecting some scrap metal. In fact, let's let's get that going. We'll come in here. We need a scavenger flag. That's 250 science to collect metal from ruins. So we'll do that. I don't know that we have beavers for it, but we'll do it. What is this? Not connected to any district by a path. Really? That's too far. That is fascinating. That is not something I saw as a possibility. That's a problem, but I think we could solve this one. This one's pretty easy to fix. So I'll just move that over here and hopefully that's good enough. And we've got another drought incoming. Not, not good, but we're, we're, we're gonna be fine. And now this is exactly what we need to get up here. And I'm wondering if there's a way to shorten this path. We could have a, a stairway down and maybe come around because the reason why it's so difficult to reach this is they're coming all the way around this way. So we really need to find a way to get down here a little bit easier. So that could be a series of stairs down and yeah, that's what we're going to do. So if this doesn't work, this should shorten up this distance for us. So I prioritized this step or this, uh, this wooden staircase, the scavenger flag, and these other stairs over here. And look at, look at, they're already going. We're already getting some metal, that is good. So that, that, that's <laughs> wonderful. That puts us in a spot, and I'm wondering how far this extends. That's not so good. <laughs> but now with this, you can see it's red to here. Once this is built, I think it's gonna be green, and then maybe I can move this up. And there are so many children in the world right now. We've got to really keep an eye on our water and food. When you have lots of kids like that, that's the problem you can have is that you just don't, you can't feed them. Okay, we've got our staircase and that shortens our path to everything, which to me means it's probably possible to move this back where it was. And I'm gonna do that. I don't want to destroy it yet because I, I don't want the scrap metal in there to go away. I'm hoping that if I turn it off, eventually I'll be able to get the be able to get the resources from there. And you can see that this just covers the area a lot better. Ah, that said, does it really matter? I don't think it matters. I think I just made a mistake. Let's get rid of this again. I don't like this location, but it's probably fine. No unemployed beavers, that's okay too. We will uh, deal with that when the time comes. Lots of beavers just coming up here, hanging out. We've got snake oil seller, Bigfoot for president, and Kelvin P just hanging out together. So we've still got things that we're building over here. And so this is all taking a long time to complete because I queued up so many things, always something to worry about. Over here, we've got a heck of a lot of stuff being planted. I'm, I, oh, I'm prioritizing things. So I don't really want to prioritize things. I just want them to start harvesting something. I'm going to set one of these to harvest. Let's do two to harvest. To me, this is bad. It's right before a drought. Actually, all of these harvest and you're working all day. Because <laughs> this stuff's all about to die. And we don't really have an exceptional amount of food right now. We have a lot of, well, actually we have a lot of beavers growing up and dying. 
<laughs> it's it's one of those oh nick making time of old age oh boy yeah so this is the time where we just need to get this stuff taken care of it's a tough time we we don't we don't have as much food as i would have hoped for so district one has some district two actually has more food so we should just make sure stop stealing from the other district these guys are gonna be fine <laughs> so over here on the other hand I'm a, I'm a little worried we actually might need to export some food across this is a seven day drought so this is a drought that is no joke we're letting a lot of this die about to die it's gonna die too and there are lots of hungry beavers already oh well we gotta, we gotta turn the speed down we're not gonna be able to save this food we're just gonna need to hope for the best in some of these areas truthfully this makes me think that uh, you know maybe we should have actually planted these over here that might have been a little more helpful we're going to need to do something because things aren't working quite as well as, as I would like. And the one thing I might do is just, we're going to migrate a bunch of people over. Let's migrate 10 beavers to our new district because there's not enough food in district one or water. We're just not in a good place here. And then we just got to turn some of these things off and make sure that the things that should be prioritized are being prioritized. So certainly we want to, our grist mill still operating. We do have a bunch of flour. So let's take a beaver. You're going to work the power wheel. No unemployed beavers. So we've got Planner Pete helping us with the water. So is Nelson. As far as these farms go, I think we could take this down. And in fact, I'm going to turn two of them off because at this point, what are they really doing? <laughs> so it's just hanging out. We need power production. We need that gear workshop off because we need the grist mill going. And four unemployed beavers, which to me means we should check our power and it's not where it should be. Now, this is something I talked about earlier. We're gonna get the power production where it should be. So I would love to unlock the large windmill, but our science isn't there yet. But for the small one, we're certainly fine there. So let's go ahead, get this established. And I'm wondering if we go ahead here, let's see if we can add one right here so i'm gonna come through here we're gonna add a platform add a windmill right here we're gonna pause this and we need to replace this so let's demolish this and then we need a power shaft that goes in each direction and this is our priority oh it's too far from builders really oh no oh no i see our problem so there is no way to reach this and there's no purpose for those stairs anymore because now we have this water wheel right in the way. So that blocks us. I'm not sure if getting this here will be good enough, but we're gonna give it a shot. Now over here, I just wanna check and see what's going on in district two. And you can see that we are just demolishing all of these ruins, which is great, but it also means that we need to start processing these. So that's our next challenge. And I think that science is our plan. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use up all of our science. I'm going to have the triple platform. I really want to get over here because I think that we can make something really neat over here. Okay, so what I've done over here is I wanted to create a pathway to get up here. So we're going to come from up here. We know that this path will be on this side anyway. So we can get this set up. They'll walk across here and we're going to put an observatory up here. We need some science for that though. We are a little short, I believe, maybe we're not, a thousand. We're going to just buy it now. There we go. And how cool is this going to be? We'll have this right up here and then we'll send this back around and we'll need to demolish this, but that's totally fine. This is going to be really special when it's done and it'll be something that you can view from either of the districts with pride. Okay, everyone over here is starving. <laughs> Let's take a look at that real quick. We've still got another day over here. That's a problem. Over here, we've got plenty of potatoes that we're not doing anything with. Mm. So I would love to be able to bring these over here. The problem is we're not set up for that right now. So let's go ahead. We need to set up another one of these. So we'll come into labor. We'll set up a distribution post over here. So this fits like this, but I kind of hate the way it looks. So yeah, it's just no real good options. I, mm, so I think I'm going to put it up here, but that's going to require me to build a bit more up here. So I'll need one platform right there and that should do the trick. Yes. So we're going to need to prioritize this. I 
do not know that we have the materials for this. We, I, we should, we should. And then we're gonna build a drop off point over here before everyone starts dying. And I realized I did not place this platform at a high priority, which means that this is not gonna be a high priority. So hopefully we can get this done because everyone over there is starving and they're gonna start dying very, very fast. That is not what we're trying to do. <laughs> and we're gonna see the deaths. We're gonna see it because we've got 0.3 days. We've, we uh, honestly, we have enough beavers over here. We're gonna build another farmhouse over here because we've got beavers that aren't just aren't doing anything. So it's logs. We're waiting on logs. Of all the things to wait on, it's logs. That just kills me. Oh, Brad died of hunger. Uh, Emil died of hunger. Pope Gordon died of hunger. Invisible died of hunger. Oh, losing so. Oh. oh, let's pause this for a second because we need to mark an area for cutting. Got a beaver just sitting over here wondering what's going on. There we go. So now you can chop everything down. Let's start cutting down some of these. Everyone over here is dying. Oh no. Oh, did you see the, every, the entire list right here? <laughs> yeah, another vey. Beta jaw right there. There we go. One more. You will never, ever not be in here. <laughs> okay, finally. We've got some beavers over here working the routes. So let's add a new route. What I want to get over here is some grilled potatoes. There we go. And we have someone at the grill. At the, that's the bakery, the grill. We're doing good. They've got logs, but no potatoes. So hopefully <laughs> this helps to stabilize us. It doesn't really feel like it's going to. It just feels bad right now. Everything feels bad. You can tell they're District 1 because they are just starving. So I got distracted and I, I prevented this windmill from being built but now we have the ability to do it let's get this going we'll resume these i don't think there are beavers for this anyway <laughs> everything is broken i feel like everything is just super broken right now i don't <sighs> you can walk the plank over here so that's something we have that going for us and over here we're going to take our advice from earlier plant some carrots on the other side and same thing over here. So over here we are set to harvest all the food. There is nothing really to do right now. We've got Daydream uh, over here helping us with this. We're just waiting. And that's the worst part. Thankfully, there is a little bit of food over in District 1 now. We've got 49 grilled potatoes. Over here we've got plenty of potatoes and plenty of farmers working these little fields, getting things done. And we have a sustainable source of wood now. But what we're missing over here in District 2 is any sort of processing capacity. We're relying 100% on the previous district. We also don't have the ability to do anything with our metal. So let's go look at that. For a smelter, we're going to need lumber and the scrap metal, gears to build this, planks to build this, scrap metal to build this, power to build this, so many things. Plus, we really need to look at this. A large windmill would be really helpful. We don't have enough science just all kind of a mess right now. If we wanted to build that, we would also need paper for paper. We could actually do this. This is doable. We're gonna do this. We're gonna start a paper mill over here. Maybe we should look at these districts and think, over here we're focused on paper. On the other side, we're focused on metal. Yeah, that, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, bummer. The shape of this, I was thinking it was a different direction. That stinks. So, we're gonna get one. Maybe that's enough. So I might as well put these trees back there. Get rid of this road. The nice thing is now I don't need to have gears being brought over here because it's being built in District 1. So that's, you know, there is a benefit and it's, it's going to be done very quickly. All right. So over here, we are halfway to being able to get up here and actually start building some stuff. Thankfully, no one's dying except of old age. That, that is, is fine. Now over here, we're starving. <laughs> so... District 2, we've got no food because we gave it all away. We're not grilling fast enough. Interesting. So we don't have any haulers over here, and that is a huge problem. So we do have one unemployed beaver. I think we're going to build a hauling post, and hopefully that will solve some of this. I'm about done with this going up. So with that, we could start some more things over here. Because so right now logs are the limitation over here that is ridiculous it's because we're building a lot of stuff <laughs> so maybe it's not ridiculous but ugh, i don't like it i don't like it one bit so now over here in district one we've got plenty of beavers district two 
we're actually pretty even on the two right now. District two has a few, a few fewer beavers. It's about to get real bad because we're not cooking these up. So I am very tempted to build another grill. And in district one, we finally have food. We've got plenty of potatoes. We've got wheat and they're over here just doing a great job making sure we've got an, our, our, another our third vey over here just making sure that the food situation is good. And I, I'm really reluctant to export this food over here because it's it's fuel. It's wood. They've got some wood too. So like, let's let's grill some potatoes. What are you doing? So we've got a couple of haulers so we can prioritize this now. So now you see, look at that. All of those potatoes getting grilled up. Okay, this should fix things over here for us. Hopefully not before a death wave. And I'll set one of these to plant it because we had some stuff over here that should have been planted that never was. That's unfortunate. And this is still too far away right here. That's, that's, that's also strange. Okay, so we're still living on the edge in district two. But I think we're in a much better spot over here. We're making, we're making our paper. We got 10 paper and I'm going to build, I'm going to do it. I think that we need more capacity for building or for uh, grilling our potatoes. And there we are grilling potatoes as soon as we get to it. We do have two unemployed beavers, so we should be okay. I'm going to add, well, it, oh, those are in the other district. Ah, it kind of flips back and forth. So I always lose track of that. Now over here, we are running out of maple syrup, so I'm gonna turn the tapper shack back on. Kind of a random thing. And we are gonna get our gatherer flag going over here, going after these blueberries. So now we have our drought, but we almost have our second grill. I'm wondering if I shouldn't have dammed this off. I don't think it would have mattered because the water height wasn't tall enough, but we're getting longer droughts and we are gonna start expending this at some point. So the other thing that I wanna do over here is now we have even more ability to get some of the scrap metal. So let's think about that too. And we need a forester over here to start replanting some of this stuff. And I don't exactly know how far this is gonna go just yet, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So we do have food over here now, and that's a good thing. What we're gonna need to do through here eventually is have some sort of irrigation channel through here. I think that would solve all of our problems. Do we have any extra beavers over here that we could transfer? No. So four children here, five children here, 29 beavers over in this area. And I wonder if that means that we are just capped out on our housing. We're not, no, we're, we're getting close though. And I think that this is gonna be just about all that we, uh, we wrote over here. I think this is good. And it's time to decorate this a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer. So let's put some caps on here. So a two by two roof piece costs 120 science. That's steep right now. We probably, this is probably not the best use of our, of our resources, but it's gonna make it look so much nicer. And over here we'll turn I need that three by piece if I'm going to make it work. So we will delete that one and, and convert that to a three by piece. And that'll look a lot better. So eventually this will look finished. We'll get there. And we do have our way all the way up here. So we're going to go ahead and, oh, we do not. We'll just mark this for deletion. So I'm not going to worry about it then. So I'd rather have a direct path if we have to do some work. So let's just... Go ahead, we'll make a very direct path over here. So over here, we need to be able to plant some trees. So let's go ahead, we've got, we set the blueberries over here. We're gonna set this over here to pine. So we do not have any chestnuts right now. So let's go ahead and plant some chestnut trees. There we go, and eventually that's gonna be great. <laughs> For the time being, it's gonna be less than, less than ideal. Over here, I also want to get a smelter. That's 300. We can get that going in just a moment. Here's what we're going to do. We'll come through. This is going to be amazing. So now with this, we should be able to unlock our smelter. And I'm going to put a couple of them here. I see no reason why not to. So I've set a lot of, queued up a ton of things. But this is going to be really helpful. Look at all the power we're going to generate here. And on this side, we can put some windmills or we can back them out on some platforms behind here. This is going to be amazing. And let's see our food situation. Yeah, we're finally we're finally stabilizing there as well. So District 2 now has 35 beavers, 39 over in District 1. People are being born like Brent Matthews and Finn. Fuzzy Grizzly died of old age. That's the right way to go. 
Fuzzy Grizzly. You might remember Fuzzy Grizzly from the previous episode, almost died down here. We saved Fuzzy Grizzly and now, a natural death, old age. That is the way to go. So interestingly, I didn't realize we don't really have the ability to plant anything up here because it's kind of the edge of the water zone. So if we want trees up here, we need to find a way to get water back there, which would be explosives again. So with the explosives, oh yeah. So we take the paper, we make explosives. We don't have enough science to unlock, 400. See, this is why science is so important. I am going to do something a little weird. What we're gonna do is just add some storage over here. This is not the ideal location, but we've got transporters. So I'm gonna move two over here. Ideally, this would be closer to our farms. There's gonna be a lot of transporting back and forth. But we've also got the resin that we're gonna be producing over here with our gatherer. So they're gonna take things into here as well. Oh, we don't have a tap shack. That is something that we missed. So the tap shack, tapper's shack, will actually be what is collecting the resin. So I wanna speed this up because I don't want all of this to be demolished <laughs> before we get any of our pine resin because we need it right away for this project over here. And we're clearing things, we're getting ready. Oh, this needs power. Shoot, I forgot about that. So what we'll do is just grab a power shaft, connect that right here, and we'll need to get rid of this. But we should be able to build power right in the side here. And another drought. <laughs> <laughs> so District 2, at this point, it's just a big waiting game as we, we, we wait for gears and planks, but everything's fairly stable. Even though we have a drought coming, it feels like we're okay. So until this is built, I think that distribution is going to be broken over here because we are maxing out every now and then. So when that happens, what we're seeing is that we, we just don't have any place for storage and they'll stop all production and that's a problem shoot 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 there we go it's okay we're almost there we're 10 planks away finally there we go we've got it so then we need our tap shack tapper shack prioritizing this by haulers that should help us out quite a bit because now we can actually import things there really needs to be more water pumping for district one luckily the drought's not too long hopefully hopefully we're okay so back to district two we finally have our tapper shack finn is doing the work for us and apparently can't reach any trees at this point because of what we did <laughs> so, so new idea over here i'm going to speed these up we're going to put a staircase down there and hopefully that gets us where we need to be we just can't reach anything so I'm gonna come over here and delete a whole bunch of stuff. Probably a controversial move. But ultimately, if we can't reach anything, it's not helpful to have all of these trees. So unfortunately, even with this, I think that we can't reach back here. We're just a little bit too far outside of where we need to be. So as a result, we're stuck. So I am desperate. I'm very desperate. So we are going to do our best to get these stairs to work. We've got to. Okay, so new idea. We'll bring this in a little bit closer. Hopefully we can reach here and that will get us going. And I will prioritize pine. We do have a couple of trees ready to go and they're just not doing it. Okay, so now maybe we can reach some of these trees over here that we could not reach before. Really hopeful. <laughs> that didn't open up as much as I thought it would. <laughs> so I think that the way to, to solve this will actually be to unmark some of the cutting area. So there we go. Now there's a little bit more strategy involved in chopping all of this down. So we had none before. It was just anything was getting chopped down. Anything that could get chopped down was getting chopped down. So thankfully this has already been built and I just didn't notice it. <laughs> so <laughs> let's prioritize this. There we go. Now over here, we've finally got our two buildings working, but we have no power basically. <laughs> so that's our problem, uh, power in all places. Over in District 1, we've got a water problem. We'll get that going again. There needs to be more water storage over here. That is a huge problem. So the I just swapped this out. We're gonna have a large water tank. That's a, sto a storage capacity of 300 each. It's 30 for the small one. So if we replace three small ones with one large water tank we've gone from 90 to 300 so hopefully this will solve our water shortage problems over here our windmill has finally been built we're getting 200 of the the, the power that we need or one 114 of the 200 that we need it's fine actually no it's not fine it's not fine we're gonna do it we're gonna figure this out on our own so that's in the middle 
and there we go. It's not going to be great when there's a day like this where there's no wind, but it's going to be better than the alternative, which is nothing. Once we've got all of our lumber in place, we should be able to build this. I'm going to let that go for a little while because I want to see how much power we are producing. We've got, we finally are producing some metal blocks. Metal blocks help us get to our explosives. So let's come over here and get that going too. We finally have enough science for this, so we'll come over here. So it's 150 horsepower each for these. So right here, we have a need for, this is 200 each. So that's 400. Add these two together, that's 300. So we know this is gonna be nine, so this is seven, and then 850. So this is basically these five buildings are close to maxing out what we can do here. Over here, this scavenger, nothing to do in range. We need to move this. There we go. Now we're getting some, some progress towards this again. And it's funny, they're going so fast, it feels like this is going to be empty in just a matter of minutes. And this makes me realize that we actually need a staircase down here if we want to keep going. And as much as I hate to do this, I think we're going to do one more thing. But I think this is a good one. So we just are really struggling with planks. And I think that we just need to bite the bullet and do something with that. Because we've got plenty of wood over here. That's not a problem. We'll just keep harvesting it. No issue. The problem is we just can't seem to get our planks fast enough. There we go. We're finally making explosives. <laughs> I'm so excited by that. So we need to unlock them, interestingly. Go under landscaping, unlock the explosives. And then we've got our logs over here holding us back. Look at this. We're so close. So now at least we're producing some of our own planks over here. We, we really needed them. And I just want to make sure we've been moving our potatoes. Yeah, District 2 has no food. <laughs> oh, it does. It has plenty of food. Kind of feels like District 2 is carrying the weight, which is fine. Even though this district by physical size is bigger, this one is way more productive. And that is just because it's a better location right now. It won't be better in the future, but for now it is better. So I think I grossly underestimated the amount of power being developed here. This is 151, 164, 151, 160, 160. We are already overshooting this by quite a bit. So I'm going to make sure that we are prioritizing building the explosives factories. We have some metal blocks that we are producing and we are almost in a place where, where, where it's go time over here. We got our paper coming in here our science i feel like we're 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 leaving this in a good spot today and i think that we're going to leave it as a result i hope that you've enjoyed this one uh I, you know again one more huge shout out to today's video sponsor apex gaming pcs uh thank you so much for sponsoring the channel it means a lot to me uh thank you all for joining me i hope that you like this if you did hit the like button if you aren't subscribed please consider doing so and i will see you in the next one take care bye bye